We're going to talk about why politics is the worst. The worst. I'll tell you, Vern, on the most recent episode of Ask AI, Ask AI Why Nerds Are Cool, uh, on that episode we talked about a certain type of person, the know-it-all, right? The know-it-all, you know? And they're the worst. They're they're awful. But I'll tell you, politics, I think, so ner- how nerdism can attract a know-it-all, politics can attract an argumentative, right? Like someone that just has to argue, right? Another worst person to talk to. You know what I mean? It's so like the person he just wants to, he doesn't, he doesn't really, like he doesn't really care. They just want to argue, right? Like they're just that annoying. You know what I mean? Like they're the other type of worst. Do you agree? Well, yeah, similar to like the know-it-all who it's impossible to have a conversation with. The person who just wants to argue also not even worth your time, right? Like, mm. Listen, I love a good argument and like a good argument with a smart person is is I don't mind being wrong because I don't know everything. There's things that I need to learn out there. When someone makes a good point and I'm like, wow, I legit never like considered that. I don't feel bad about it. I'm like, all right, you know, that's that, that's a fair point. But you bump into an argumentative person who it's like, no matter what we're doing here. You're going to walk away from this feeling the exact same way. You're not willing to listen to what I'm saying. You're just going to keep yelling your shit at me over and over again. So then I feel like I'm wasting my time. Like, I think it was Mark Twain who said, um, it's very hard to win an argument with a smart man. It's impossible to win an argument with a moron. And like, you know, my definition of a moron is just someone who's not willing to take the information in front of them and be willing to learn something. Right. I could, dude, couldn't agree more. Also, partially, like, the one-upper, the argumentative person, it's their presentation as well, right? You know what I mean? Like, if they're coming at you with a condescending tone or they're yelling or raising their voice or trying to shout their point over you, like, no one wants to listen to that. And no one's there for it. I'll tell you this right now. No one is there for it. But if you're engaging in a conversation where everyone's got, you know, nice tones, they're listening, they're playing off each other's discussion, great argument. Great argument. But if it's just yelling back and forth, you're right. Everyone's a moron. Everyone's a moron in that situation. And it's the worst. Someone made a good suggestion to me once where it's like, if you ever want to argue with anybody, and this is why like debates in theory are supposed to work. It's like most times arguments get elevated because you feel like your side is not going to be heard. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you start interrupting or interjecting or getting louder. But if you're just like, listen, you say your shit for three minutes. And then I'll say my shit for three minutes. And I know, like, you know, I'm going to listen to you. And I know that you're going to have to be quiet and listen to me. It actually takes a lot of the tension out of the situation. Yeah. Because it's like, all right, we both know that we're going to get a chance to like present our. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not how conversations happen in real life. No, no. And you're right. I, Sometimes it's not what you say. It's it's how you say it. Dude, I tell, I preach this to my wife. I preach this to a lot of people all the time. I was like, look, I don't mind talking to you, but you need to watch how you speak to me. Right. You just know, I don't deal with the con. I'm not a fan of the condescending tones or raising the voice or anything like that. Like we can have this discussion and you can tell me you're angry. Right. And you can be angry and that's fine. But we're not doing if you start screaming or like getting, you know, raising voice, whatever. Right away. I'm like, all right, it's fight time. Let's go. We're battling this out then. Right. And it's about to the death and go kill yourself. You know, right. and, did, and that's did how it have it's to go. be. Did could all this have been be. avoided? It probably yeah. could have been avoided. Yeah. Working Perspectives Podcast. Like and subscribe.